In this video, we're going to create a scrolling ticker using Ecamm and the text overlays. So you need to watch the previous video where I just showed you how to use text overlays. Now we're gonna take that on a step. So again, we're in the overlays area. I've thinned out the others and we're going to create a text overlay. So I choose my size. If I want to change around my fonts and things, we do that in here. And let me just show you what, so by default, this is it sitting here just saying text. And the way we change this across to be a scrolling ticker is up in this style, scrolling ticker at the bottom. When I hit add, it's now just brought this in. And as you can see, running across the screen, I can adjust the speed of this. I can take it right slow, <laughs> slightly annoying, um, as is when it's this end of the screen as well and it's bombing past. So somewhere in the middle there, we'll, we'll tweak that in a second. But as you can see, that text has got to get all the way to the end before it starts again. So you, you really want a longer sentence in here. And when would we use this anyway? When might you use a scrolling ticker? I tend to have this on lives. If maybe while we're just getting started and I'm talking, I don't want to have to keep saying, oh, if people are arriving, let us know you're here in the comments. Or it might be that we're doing a promotion and I'm saying, be sure to enter your name. And we've got a link there that we can keep scrolling across. So for now, let's just go. And we said we can use uh, emojis. So why don't we put a nice one of these in here at the end as well. So there we've now just put uh, welcome. Let me know you're here by saying hi in the comments. I'm reading it out because this is sort of setting the speed of it really. You want to be able to look at it and go welcome. Let me know you're here by saying hi in the comments. That looks fast, but actually I find that I, I would read it at that speed, um, if not faster. So why don't we just pop that down? You can reposition it wherever you want on the screen. Uh, you don't get to grab the edges and resize it. So the way we resize it would be by increasing the font down here. And we can also increase the margin, which will just put a bit more padding around the actual text. So if I put some margin on, you can see that actually feels uncomfortable with it going at that speed, doesn't it? It's very distracting. Some people love them, but yeah, you now know how to do it. So you can just turn that on or off and it will start and it will run through. A good way for catching people's attention and you can just carry on doing your live and let them read that if they want to, but don't do it all the time. You're gonna drive people crazy. Go on, have a go with that one and let me know how you get on. If you're enjoying this, why don't you come and join me in my next video where we're gonna be looking at image overlays. This is not just bringing in photos, this is how you put logos and things on screen as well. So come on.